Hello everyone, welcome to the Bonsai Life. My name is Damir and today we will work on on this tree. It's actually two of them. This is my this is one of my uh first trees that I this is actually not my tree. This tree I sold about like six, seven years ago. And um, on the beginning, it was three of them. Here was the another tree, and when I first made it, I had the roots growing on this part of the stone. Then I had one more tree that was hanging from from the cliff here, and then the last tree was growing through the through the hole in the rock and I had the roots here and I had roots here and then I had the roots here and here so I had the roots all around this tree just let the roots by itself it was like small seedling this tree was the smallest one it was small seedling that I planted there just to to, to let the roots grow through through the rock and I, I I made it then I sold the tree and maybe like uh, that that was like my <laughs> my one of the my first trees that I sold so I I was selling the trees whoever wanted to buy so now I don't do that anymore of course so I sold this tree and the lady came like a year, year and a half later that she had this tree on the fireplace. So of course the tree was suffering, no light, nothing, heat and everything. And the tree that was hanging here actually dried off. So she brought me the planting so if I can save what I can save you know so okay I saved those two trees I pruned them and everything and then later she brought this this again that she was moving with this uh, with this um, uh, with this pot and the pot fall from her hands and just fell down on this tree this tree actually was broken in half so I had here like a branch and and like when it fall this tree was like split in in half so I actually here had a uh, just ordinary uh, rubber holding the holding the tree and the tree actually healed really good so almost you cannot see here the tree was here like split in half so I, I actually saved that but because like she didn't want to listen to me she wanted to have like a bonsai somewhere in the living room like a decoration so this tree didn't have enough light so most of the roots that were like here 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 all over they actually died but the tree is now like growing new roots one of the roots that was original is this one and this one actually survived I, I had some more roots growing into this into these caves and then like growing out it was it looked really cool but they're gone they're dried but now I see this tree is growing the roots across the stone under this root and into the into the soil it's a little bit like kind of awkward because this root when get thicker it will lift this this root so I don't know is it smart to leave this root there but maybe they will fuse and then actually if they fuse they will grow together so for now I will leave this root there and I will hope for the best but I don't know 
And because I cannot wire this tree, so if it's mine, I would like wire some branches and like place them because this is the front of the of the of the trees because the stone look the best from this view I would wire the branches and like expose both of the trees now because this branch is too thick too big you don't see this this tree and this looks really interesting too so now I have to do everything with the clip and grow so I want to expose this tree and I want to cut this one back and actually here if you look like here I have actually three branches one second one and then this this trunk so so you have like three branches on one place here I don't know can you see that and and actually this branch is too close to so you have like multiple branches with the trunk all together on one place so I, I'm like thinking something to do with this but I know this tree will never go to any any show or something like that so I'm just like worried about like inverser taper but but like otherwise sh like she don't care if there are like two or three branches so I but I want to make because it's my creation I want to make like regular bonsai I'm just a little bit like sorry for some of the roots but now I will cut the tree back and I will try to expose this tree so I'm thinking to take this branch totally off and maybe just to leave some small branches or I'm thinking to take this like completely off but it's like part of the design and I have this branch for like really long time this branch is like I don't know maybe 12 years old even more I I don't know it's like old branch so I'm I don't want to lose it so like I will start with just pruning the top off and that that's that will that will be like easy task so I will just like shorten everything with the directional pruning so where I have my leaf facing outwards I will just prune the branches I'm cutting up to the second leaf here I have the leaf like pointing into this branch so I, I maybe cut this leaf off and I have here the old leaf on the on the place where did I cut the last time this branch but I will leave that for now so here I have a leaf pointing outwards I have one leaf pointing down maybe I will shorten this one even more and this can go up to here and here I have one leaf growing inwards I will take that one and I have some small branches growing inwards but I have to fill this up a bit so I will leave this branch I will shorten it but I will leave this branch and I, I actually don't want the like new branch going like this but more like this so and then I will fill this space like if I get new branch growing here then then my secondary branches will go here and here and here so I will slowly fill up this space this hole here like with this branch here I can I can prune this branch to make a new branch here and here so I will slowly fill up this space okay I will first prune the branches then I will think which one to leave and which one to to cut off and do I and I'm thinking still I'm, I was like 
looking at this this uh, last few days looking at this tree and thinking what to do and uh, I'm actually also considering about not cutting it at all any of these branches here I have one leaf pointing upwards that one I, I, I don't want and I have one like inwards so this one I don't want also I don't want crossing the branches definitely I don't want crossing the branches no matter what I will shorten this maybe even a little bit more because I don't want crossing branches I don't want this leaf here I'm leaving here just one leaf but it will be okay and here I will shorten it like this and I have one leaf and it's not in words it's just growing on the side I have one small branch here I can take just like a tip of this small branch so I have this part shorten it so here I will shorten these branches that go like these two that I would like some like space here so you can see the front of the tree so I would like to take these a bit more and yes she finally uh, listened my advices so now this tree is sit on the windows and it has like a lot of lights so now this this tree is like on a really good place she she showed me the pictures and have like it's on the corner between two windows so it has a uh, light from both sides so it looks really good this branch is definitely too long it's like mega too long and I'm actually thinking like this is my first like kind of leaf growing down but I have one here down lower but this is like too low it's like too short we will come back to this one to these two now I will prune this part where I want to expose this this tree and now we come to the tricky part I'm just thinking that this has to go just without this I know it, it is like big but if I take this off this tree will grow something here because it's shaded so this tree doesn't have anything here it's like totally bare I had the branch here I had the branch here I had one branch growing here and I had one small branch here like either way I wouldn't like keep this branch or maybe I would keep it but I would cut this one off and I would keep this branch but that this branch died off and this one also because of this branch from this other tree so I'm thinking like oh, big cut like Mr. Nigel says big cut here we go first I will cut this back and I will cut this back like let's say up to here so like really short and I have one small branch here and I can cut this really short or I can I can cut this branch totally off so here I had the branch so it's totally off so I have this one and I have this one and I'm thinking to cut up to here so you will have like something here but this tree will have much more light and it's it it will be visible here we go no more talking I'm going like totally 
flash and boom it's gone looks kind of bare but it's like for the best of like in time you will get something here actually on the end definitely now when when there is the light it will be the back budding so and actually this I would take it off this branch completely this one it's on the same it's it's like you have two branches here on the same spot two opposite branches and I would take this one totally off because then I can use this I can take let's say Oh my god, this is tough. Now I don't have any more another tree here, so what if I take this whole thing and I just like so I could count with something coming out from here and this and like and something from these branches that will fill this space here. So because no wiring remember so I can like I can try to like cut let's say to the first leaf growing outwards so I can cut to let's say to this leaf so I get a new branch here and I could fill this space and I could sh like keep this branch really short and filling up this space and if I get something from here filling this space here so then 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 I can make my my complete scene what is like something like this like here a bit bigger here a bit shorter so something like this on the end so if I cut, let's say, yes, I would have something going inwards, but sometimes you just, or I can use this leaf and fill this space here and from this branch fill this space. Okay, let's try this. This I'm cutting off and if i keep this like really small branch so i so this tree gets the full light then this could be okay and this branch i will take it completely off so you will be able to see what is going on down lower so this one is going off so you see this now you can see the bit of trunk here and here and now you are able to see the like full composition what is going on and now if I get something let's say here or maybe here then later I could take this branch totally off and like count with one small pad here like kind of something like this something small here from here something and from here something that will fill this space here and then if I finally get something like growing if I get something growing like this then I can maybe cut this totally off and and then I would like use this or later on maybe this and this because now the tree is suffering actually because like this you can see yes okay it's growing in the stone so it's like much weaker than this one 
because this one have much bigger roots and and using much more soil but it was shaded like a lot so i will i will just like prune a bit of the top of the like the top of the tree so i will encourage the lower part part to grow i just don't want like very long branches so i will cut this much just a little bit just the tips of the lower branches i will cut back the top of the tree this I will shorten just for the ramification I don't need this leaf here I have one old stop and this can go much lower like this I don't need this branch growing upwards and cut this back and this branch I will cut like far back so the tree looks much better I think you still now you see actually there are two trees I don't like this this is like this, this branch is crossing this trunk like when you look from the front you see this branch is crossing the trunk no crossing what about this if I cut this off I will leave them both here it's feeling the she will be happy I know it's not correctly I know it's not like if it's mine tree I would take the both of these and I would definitely take one of these but that, that just doesn't matter okay I will take one and I think I will take this this lower can be part of the of the pad but this one is much higher so if I take this one off then later I could shorten this one and maybe with the directional pruning I could make a pad here like somewhere here like somewhere here could make a pad here so I will take this one off because I, I, I actually don't want inverser taper so It's gone. It just looks much better. And maybe I'm thinking to shorten this one like really short. I will lose the ramification, but I can push the push the branch like further. So I will have my ramification down lower. So if I get ramification somewhere from here I think this pad will look on the end much better. I think I'm done. Like I could uh, clean bit of uh, moss here. I see some roots here coming from who knows from what. But I see some roots here forming. I see some roots. I think it's the roots of this tree. So the moss is partially gone from the trunk. Here I have some moss but some roots are growing there. That's, that's aerial roots I think from this tree. So I will leave this till these roots thicken up a bit more then I will expose everything. Here I have some roots 
I think that's the route from here. So then then later when I get a bit thickness of the of the roots then I will expose and I will lift the stone a bit more but it's not much more of the stone that is left like under the soil that stone is not like it's not that big you have like only tiny bit left like something like maybe a centimeter or something but you could lift the stone a bit more that's the point so and one more thing I cannot have like two leather branches here I will take this branch so I don't want leather branches because I already have these two that are so it would be like three branches like almost but this one is like kind of a little bit there so you can accept that so so now I will just like uh, feed the tree water water it I will clean these leaves because I think she have like very uh, hard water so the leaves are covered with the with the calcium so I will clean the leaves and uh, feed the tree and that's it I will spin it for you like it has already like nice cracked bark I really like this pity there is now a third tree that was here it looked even much better before but now it's like the age gives something and in few years that this will look really good and this this uh, handmade pot from India looks really good it was like this is terracotta pot and now because it it aged also it's kind of bleached from uh, from sun so it looks really good with this with this tree so if you like this same as me please thumbs up it means really a lot it helps the channel to grow and uh, thanks for everything and see you next time guys bye bye have a nice day